Hey guys, we're back with episode two of the Hollywood Bomber. So, it's a rainy day here in Saginaw, Texas, heading down to Meacham Airport in Fort Worth. Only a couple miles. A little bit of a gully washer. But it's nice and cool today. We're showing 73. I think last week it was uh, about 10 or 15 degrees warmer. Um, I'm running a little late because of the weather and all that. I had to stop and get a few things. But, got a lot of progress done last week. The uh, guys ended up roughing out the instrument panel, which was awesome. Uh, got that done Saturday. Then uh, Joey and Katrina ended up punching most of the instrument holes, which look fabulous. So that's cool. I'm going to try to cut the radio stack hole today, start working on that. Um, the rudders, guys got the rudders off. Roger, Richard, and Gene got the rudders off last week, I guess it was, um, which was greatness. So those are good. We just, I've never taken a rudder, i got to be honest with you, I've never taken a rudder off Twin Beach. Hardly anybody does when they're maintaining them, but um, sometimes you got to take stuff off. So that was neat. We learned a little bit on that. We uh, big shout out to Ty Ramey out in uh, California um, with his team. So he helped us out a little tech on that, so that was cool. Let's see what else is going on. Kevin was clearing out the forward nose area, got all the shelves out, got the floor out, and we're going to hopefully do a clean on that. This morning, hose it out. Um, I'm going to go up in the nose area, hopefully, and start taking some of there's still a lot of harness from the old avionics, these old dinosaur avionics. I mean, big monster harnesses. So we're going to 86 that out. Um, fuel tanks. <clears throat> We've got the fuel tank folks coming this week, and uh, this is for the outer wing panels. Uh, we had some folks say, "Well, the aircraft has nothing but tanks." On this uh, EAT and S, the outer wings have fuel bladders. So we've got the folks from uh, SWAT coming over, and we're gonna do, we'll do a video with them uh, and talk about uh, they're gonna come in and uh, set the fuel cells for the outer wing panels. Great. Uh, we're also gonna start getting the uh, wing rewired. Uh, all the wiring was pulled out of it. I mean, all out of it. So we're gonna get that done. Oh, bah, 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 bah. I'm trying to think what other stuff. Just kind of working around the aircraft. So we're, we're getting a lot of things done. Inventorying. We went through a bunch of inventory last week. Um, getting, figuring out what is good, what's a keep and all that. What happened in this aircraft, it had to move a couple times. So things were packed up. And it's if you've ever moved an apartment or a house or something like that, everything gets packed up. You know it's all in there, but you have no idea where. And, and that's kind of where we are now. So... Uh, last weekend, I spent the uh, one entire day doing nothing but unpacking stuff, figuring out what we have, and getting it sorted, getting the known unused or uh, non-reused parts, getting those fenced off to the side so we don't need those. So that's going on. I uh, had some folks reaching out to us. Uh, Jeff um, reached out to us and said, hey, man, if you uh, if you need any, any of the uh, tail feathers or the uh, ailerons flaps covered, uh, fabric covering redone let us know and uh, man I gotta say I surely do appreciate it. that was Jeff Rowland our buddy unfortunately on this aircraft they're all metalized dang it so uh, we will be reaching out and anyone that wants to reach out to us man that's greatness uh, we do need we are going to be needing avionics um, and we're well, I'd like to get the uh, front two seats upholstered uh, because I want to bring the cockpit up to full configuration so that we don't have to go back into that later. So that'll, those are just a couple things I'm thinking off the top of my head. Uh, tires, tubes, probably we've got, to, I, I've, I've got to survey those, see where we are with those. Um, anyway, that's what's going on. Stay tuned, should be a good episode. We'll be uh, kicking around the hangar and showing you what we're up to. Hey guys, how's it going? Here I am, Bill again, and Hangar X, and we're gonna go see what's going on in the nose compartment. Okay, we got Kevin here, nose Hi. compartment specialist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing, Mo? Cleaning up the nose. Cleaning up the nose. Removing a lot of harnesses. Yeah, that, look at this. Uh, look at this stuff here. Look at this stuff here. This is, I don't know, this has got to be about five, ten pounds of radios, old avionics, stuff like that. We talked about in the last movie. We talked about the. Um, all the radios and stuff that you had taken out. Yep. And you got the floor out, and now you got to clean and scrub the floor, right? Yes. Yeah. And you got the transponder wire. 
ready to our transponder panel ready to go back in. That is correct. Yeah. We'll make some panel uh, some patches for some. Yeah, patches for that. Um, and then what else? Uh, I gotta, I gotta throw it and then we gotta figure out these wires. Yeah, are, we, the, the wires <laughs> are coming up the air vents. As we figure out what they are, we remove them from yeah. the aircraft. Yeah. Well, <laughs> most, we mo need them. yeah, most of them are they're radios. They're old dinosaur radio stuff. Yeah. It could be ADFs. It could be comm radios, intercoms, junk like that. And when you see the big monster plugs, also the fact they don't have any Beechcraft numbers on them, they're candidate for getting ripped out. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what he's doing. Kevin's fighting the fight up here. And it's <laughs> nice and cool, too. Yeah. So, you can't tell by the beans anyway, sweat. He's going to be out of pocket for a little while, but we're going to, uh, while he's gone, we're going to clean up there, or climb up there and, and uh, scrub Sounds everything. Sounds good. So it should be cleaner next time we come back. Excellent. Okay, man, get back to it. Thank you. Okay, let's see what Barry's up to. He's been uh, kind of working on this instrument panel all day. So, what you got going on, Chief? Now, this is, we started off this morning that uh, Joey and Katrina, they popped the holes in it, and then we popped the other holes. Yeah, they, they punched all the main instrument holes. Yeah. And today, we punched all the screw holes. Holes, and you can see there's a zillion of them, four times however many big holes. Yeah. And we um, chewed that out. We're going to clean that up. Then we have, I think we have, what do we say, about four or five switches and lights? Yeah, still to go. And then That's it's good. done. Yeah. And then this is gonna, we're gonna trim this off, Correct. the old panel off, and this will be, yeah. this will be riveted to that. Be mounted to this, so yeah. we can use the original mounting yeah. points to do that. Yep. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll paint it, subscreen it, and uh, it's gonna look fabulous. Look okay, man. Good. Barry's on it. Instrument panel project. Easy peasy. All right. All I gotta do is buy a piece of metal and start cutting holes. That's it. That's it. Easy. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We're walking. Okay, we're walking. Here we are, and we got Richard working on the rudders. Okay. Okay, dude, what are you doing on the rudders? Well, we're cleaning them up. They're a little scratched here and there. We had to get the uh, static wires uh -huh. off. Got them off on the bonding jump. Oh, they were all corroded. Uh, right rudder, left, yeah. right rudder, left rudder. And luckily, these two were already off. I think I'd have to get these two, and of course, they're corroded on. Yeah. So we'll let them sit overnight with some uh, liquid Corrode. wrench on them. And then we've got some some of these rib nuts and yep. screws. We've got to clean up the bonding, but they're all in all. They're there's one here and there. Yeah, and one, there. two, a couple. Mm -hmm. I've got a whole bag of those. Tools coming in next week. Um, but all in all, they're in pretty. They're in okay shape. Yeah, yeah. They're there's okay shape. The... So they'll clean up. We're gonna we're gonna rattle can the uh, fittings here. Get those pretty, and then they will be ready to go back on. I think uh, we've got the trim mechanism. Uh, they're all freed up. We've got to make sure they're all back where they are, and then they will go back on. We've got to get some static wicks. If anybody has some of the static wicks, those um, plastic rubber looking ones, about seven inches long, um, mail them. Mail them to us, man, <laughs> because they're expensive. They're expensive, but we need a, geez, I guess we need about a dozen of them. About two, I think two on each flipper, something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's what Richard's working on. What else? That's about it. And then next, um, Probably start working on the elevator as much as we hate to work on it. Yeah, it makes sense with the yeah. vertical stabs. Vertical stabs. Because they and have a, a couple of I got screws. all the hardware, I got all the screws in for the vertical stab. Okay, good. So we're ready for all the screws. Yep, the, uh, the fitting, I mean, the little. Uh, I don't have the roll pin. Not the roll pin, but the things that hold the screws. Oh, nut plates? Nut plates. Nut plates. I think yeah, I've got some of those. Yeah, I've got those. we got a couple of those to do on the elevator for sure. Okay. These are all rib nuts, which are terrible. We hate them. But, mm -hmm. um, what was it? But, um, yeah, we hate rib nuts. I hate rib nuts. Um, but I've got a, got a tool coming. I didn't have the right size tool, so we got the right size tool. We're going to get these. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe next week they're done. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll they're done. get this done tomorrow. Yeah, and then start on the uh, start on the others, I mean, and I owe you I owe you some new Castle hardware for the trim tabs, so I've got to remember to bring that tonight. Um, anyway, Richard is banging it on the tail feathers. Kevin's working the nose. Uh, Barry's got the, the instrument pa panel going. Uh, Noel's been fixing the wiring of the building and uh, doing a bunch of other stuff. We cleaned out a whole ton of stuff on the shelves. Found some plates for the fuel tanks, <laughs> so that's good. So anyway. That's it, uh, Richard's, uh, we're keeping after him and he's, he's keeping after us.
early the next morning. Hey guys, here we are, and uh, let's see what uh, Joey and Jacob are up to. Okay, guys, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. So you were doing <laughs> the, uh, away. So there's uh, lightning holes in the fuel bay yeah. of the beach, and uh, they'll be covered up to keep uh, debris critters out. Yeah. They're going to be covered up with fabric. Yeah. So fab so so back in the day, Beechcraft would have used cotton. So you guys are using uh, background polyester, modern stuff, seconite, polyfiber type stuff. And then, how many how many holes are you covering? Uh, that's 22 here. Uh, this one here. 22. So you got. Is that, now is that just one side or both sides? One side. One side. Yeah. So you you, you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah. And then once they get done with that, they're going to do the gear well and then the flap well and all that. So anyway, um, cutting circles. Then um, use the pinking shears and make a whole ton of them. Next time we're going to glue them on, iron them, and paint them silver, make them look pretty. So get after it, man. It's hot. I'm going to go turn the fan back on. <laughs> okay, back over to the uh, sheet metal area. Let's see what Nash and Katrina are up to. Hang on, I'm going to move over here. Okay, what are you guys up to? We are working on. You're going to have to loud talk, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> the control panel filing instrument up panel instrument panel Thank yeah you. now last week okay last week you guys did the last week we cut out we drilled we used that big die the punch yeah, yeah the punch, and you, and you punched, punched all the holes out both um, sizes both sizes you got all those done barry yesterday got the um barry got the uh, little holes for here done okay. uh, and he's working on the outer frame and now nash and katrina are working on the radio stack so they're taking a rotten square hole, a rotten round hole, and making it square. And I guess what kind of computer program are you guys using for this? We did not just use this, we <laughs> used this. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this is all hand done, and I think you guys have about maybe, oh, Joey was talking the other day, maybe about 10 hours touch labor in it Possibly, so far, yeah. something like that. So that's the instrument panel going. Next time we're going to be putting the uh, rails in for that, a couple of switch holes, and then we're going to start prepping it for paint. Cool. Okay, get back to it. Awesome. Back to it. Thank you. <laughs> That's the instrument panel. We'll see what Train's doing. Hey, Train, what are you doing up there? Uh, I'm painting the, um, the nose where the uh, radar was. Yeah? Yeah. Is it clean up there? Almost. <laughs> what was it like? Huh? Was there any gunk up there? Any stink? Any crud? Mm, not too much for the most part. No, it's just a lot of oil, slime, and all that. Yeah. Actually, it's surprising because there's, it's just coming slinging from the engines. Yeah. So that's kind of stuff. So, he's doing that, having fun. This is great stuff. Let me know when you're ready for the garden hose. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, we had a good weekend. Really good weekend. The um, crew got the nose cleaned up, the cockpit all cleaned up. Uh, a bunch of muddy, muddy water came out of that. Got that all cleaned up. Instrument panel worked on. The um, what else? The vertical or the rudders cleaned up. Uh, we figured out the wing tips, uh, found some wiring, found some fuel plates, ready for the fuel tank, bladders to go in the outer wing panels. Um, just a bunch of stuff going on. So everything's doing real well. That's it for this week. We're going to see you guys next week. Hangar Rats out. probably wondering what's kind of cool about working at the Volunteer Flying Museum of Fort Worth on this project. Well, it's one of those things that's pretty cool. 826, the invader just came back from a flight, getting ready to shut it down, but that's one of the things that's neat about working at a local museum. I recommend it to everyone.
Ugh! <laughs> 